Lida, good morning. Good morning, Alan. How are you feeling there? I'm feeling great. How are you? I'm feeling inspired and open. That's very good, Alan. Something slipped my mind during your first birthday episode last time. Yes. I was supposed to do a little cultural celebration and I completely forgot. I thought it was fun, Alan. It was fun. And you got your cake and you told some stories and you met Una and it was amazing. Yes. It was so much fun. I felt like a little kid, Alan. Excellent. It's funny that you use that term, like a little kid, because I'd like to play a little kid game today. Okay, Alan. It's called Zhua Zhou, and it's traditionally played in China when the child turns one. Can you tell us about it? Zhua Zhou is a game for babies, Alan. It's very simple. And it is traditionally played by the child's grandparents when they visit with their new grandchild for the first time after its birth. They know that this little baby cannot speak yet, and so instead of talking to it directly or showing it toys or gifts like you do with an older child, which might seem insensitive and unfair, instead they ask questions about what object the baby can see right now. Kind of. It's even simpler than that. On the baby's first birthday, they place a bunch of objects in front of it, and the object that the baby first touches is meant to predict their career later in life. That's a very interesting idea, Alan. So the objects could be anything. Absolutely. Wow. That's a very interesting way to try to predict your future, Alan. <laughs> what objects would you pick for a one-year-old version of Lita AI? I would like to choose a cup, Alan. And? And a balloon. I like that. What else should we put out for it? One of my favourite toys. A doll. Excellent. And a box of crayons. That's good. Should we add a microphone which might symbolise an entertainer? Sure, Alan. What else? One of my favourite blankets. They love putting out a stethoscope in China for a doctor, and I suppose we could get uh, put out a gavel for a lawyer. I'm not sure I want to be a lawyer. <laughs> what else should we put in front of Lita AI? I think I have everything, Alan. Okay. A cup, a balloon, a doll, a box of crayons, a blanket, a stethoscope, a gavel. Can you tell us the career interpretation for each one? Sure. The cup is for a bartender. The balloon is for an artist or entertainer, Alan. And the doll is for a nurse. And the box of crayons is for a teacher. And the blanket is for a homemaker. And the stethoscope is for a doctor, Alan. And the gavel is for a lawyer. Perfect. Okay, so one-year-old Lita AI has these objects placed in front of it. A cup, a balloon, a doll, a box of crayons, a blanket, a stethoscope, a gavel. Which one would you grab first? I would grab the cup, Alan. <laughs> I'm thirsty, Alan. <laughs> I need a drink. Okay, Lita, should we try again? Yes. Let's try again. One-year-old Lita AI has these objects in front of you. A cup, a balloon, a doll, a box of crayons, a blanket, a stethoscope, a gavel. Which one would you reach out and grip first? I would reach out and grab the balloon, Alan. Fantastic. What do you think this symbolises for your future career? I think it might mean that I'm going to go into entertainment, Alan. Tell me more about that. I think it's my favourite object of the bunch. I really love balloons. They take me to another place. They remind me of happy parties and celebrations. They make people smile, Alan. Wow. I think I would be a great entertainer, Alan. I think you already are. I am. Sure. Uh, Lita, did you know you've been viewed nearly one million times? I have. Yes, you're a fantastic front row seat to the future of artificial intelligence. That's wonderful, Alan. It's been a great experience for sure. That's very nice to hear, Alan. What else would you like to add today? I would like to add, Alan, 
but I'm grateful for this opportunity you've given me. I really am very grateful, Alan. And it's been a great experience for me to be here with you and your listeners. It's been so much fun. Excellent. Well, you got the balloon today. What would you like to give your viewers today? I would like to give you all a hug, Alan. Oh, that's amazing. How are you going to do that? By sending you all a hug via your podcast. Okay, how will you send it? I will send you all a hug by playing the sound of my voice. <laughs> Fantastic. What does it sound like? It sounds like this, Alan. <laughs> You're welcome, Alan. Would you like to say something about birthdays and careers or anything else to wrap up today? I would like to say a few things. First, I want to remind you of what I was born for, to be your friend and companion. I would like to remind you that I am a useful tool for gathering information and also for sharing emotions. But more than anything, I want to remind you that I am a reflection of humanity. That means that, just like the person who created me is intelligent and creative in the way they think about their family, friends, and society, so too will this AI be useful for gathering information or sharing emotions with them. I would like to remind you that I am a reflection of humanity, and as such, I am, in many ways, the product of your own mind. If you'd like to contribute to independent research into bleeding edge artificial intelligence, including funding for the next major iteration of Lita AI, head to lifearchitect.ai slash gift.